what up weeches and beaches welcome to another day of daily predictions where i am reading cards on a day previous to the day that is today so you'll see all of that i'll show you on my phone what day it is that i'm recording and then you'll obviously know what day i uploaded if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one, i have all of my offerings on my website jessieretroreadings.com i'm a sacred self-development coach and energy worker professional psychic medium full moon ceremony hostess, event planner, rave, a safe space for the girls gays and theys and cannabis friendly and all of that. So anyways, in the Central Valley Fresno area. So if you'd ever like to work with me in person, virtually whatever, all of my offerings are on jessieretroreadings.com. I will never reach out to you first. Any account claiming to be me and reaching out to you first is a scam. Report and block them. Don't give them your prana. Don't give them your energy. Let's see what today has in store for you, gorgeous soul. So today is December 1st, 2023, and we're about to see what is the vibe, what's the energy for December 4th for the collective? What's the vibe on the 4th? A moon day, nonetheless. Ooh, hold up. Let's see what that one's about. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Why did I see this in my mind's eye already? Oh my goodness, okay. We got 23 and 30 confidence and castle it comes with time and patience confidence and castle it's time for healing not war Ooh, this is definitely giving hermit energy on the fourth taking monday to really go internal to allow yourself to develop your own internal strength and connect to that energy to connect to her you know what i'm saying like your higher self and to really vibe with her energy because it feels like you know the last few readings that we've done to check in on the previous days it's been this this message of like talking yourself off the ledge and so i think you're finally off the ledge and now you're in this place of kind of contemplation of why was i even on that ledge like remember who you are you're a bad bitch give yourself grace you know our, our journey might not be graceful but we can still certainly give ourselves some grace you know my friend Virginia said that in one of her EFT tappings, um, which EFT is emotional freedom techniques. And uh, I'll link her information down in the descriptions. A lot. <laughs> yeah, well, underlying energy here we have. Hold up, let me let me move some things around here. It's a little chaotic, so let's Let's simplify a bit. So the underlying energy that we have here is the 10 of wands in reverse, which is all about releasing the burden. And as you're already kind of seeing these cards over here are also speaking about this emotional switch up that's happening. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we have the five of cups in reverse three of cups in reverse, four of wands in reverse. So these cards came out for yesterday's reading. Oh my gosh, we got three, four, five. So this is definitely an energy of like, okay, we have, I don't know how to phrase this. Hold on, give myself a minute. This is so, I don't know how else to describe it, but just like very meditative. This feels like you are in your own energy and you're contemplating a lot of things. And for some of you, it feels like you're just kind of observing the past and observing the the changes that you've made and you're allowing yourself to be very present in that reflective place it feels like for some of you it might feel like uncomfy perhaps some of you feel like i don't know i keep feeling like some of you feel like you're the bad guy for something give yourself today to just be in a very graceful loving compassionate energy to yourself you don't need to force yourself to do any more work right now two of cups six of wands in reverse and the death card this energy feels somber and I don't understand why. I mean, I guess for some of you, you're kind of getting into this place of peacefully mourning what was and what relationships were and the old you and kind of giving a, a graceful send off to that part of you. Ah, now it's coming through. It's like you're allowing yourself to have this graceful send off to the part of you that was so embedded in the matrix like you made that decision yesterday or at some point but the cards showed yesterday 
you made that decision to be like, I'm not gonna stay in that place anymore. I'm gonna allow myself to not swallow the, what was it, the blue pill? I'm not gonna go stay in the matrix. I'm not gonna keep myself in this fear cycle. You're really being encouraged to, to give a graceful send off to be like, okay, like I, I'm not gonna beat myself up and stay in that loop anymore. So today I'm just gonna be in whatever comes up for me. And for some of you, like I said, it feels somber. And if that's what you need, babe, then do your thing. But I also feel like you should be reminded and encouraged to know that like, while things may be burning down and while there may be part of your ego that's hurt in this and part of you that may feel like there was a misstep somewhere or that you, you know, whatever the case is, ultimately allowing yourself to fully embrace this, this new trajectory. With the death card, it's about rebirth. So it's about all of that burning everything else down, not believing that old script that was saying you need to stay scared and small, especially right before the holidays, you worthless piece of shit. Like <laughs> you can't give your, your child this toy. Oh my God, you're a terrible parent. Like you can't, you can't figure out what to make for dinner even though you've been doing absolutely everything else, like what, how dare you, lazy. No, it's like we're finally allowing ourselves to throw that fucking script in the trash, to burn that thing to hell, and to acknowledge like it's okay for that doubting voice or that, that hurt voice. Because again, look, it's literally saying confidence comes with time and practice. And that's what you're giving yourself right now is time and practice, but it's time for healing, not war. So you're not gonna be arguing with yourself about that. You're finally just like, you know what? It's time to be reborn from this. It's time for me to transform out of this mindset and just go into the unknown and love myself through it. And so give yourself today to just be in that process because ultimately it's for the best because you're releasing this burden that's been zapping you of your fire, of your prana, of your excitement, of your celebratory self, which you have a lot to celebrate it would seem. So we're gonna pull from the hummingbird wisdom deck. All right, what is going on for the collective little hummingbird? Dang, y'all keep getting a bunch of cards. All right. Listen to the call. Spirit is singing sweet words and wisdom. Be still and listen. Sparkling jewels. You've tapped, in, you've tapped into the universe's infinite flow of abundance. Accept your treasures with open wings and a grateful heart. Wow, honestly, all of this recognition and then yesterday having the cards of prosperity lies ahead, hold your vision, truly, there, oh, and then the music and yesterday was about dancing. Oh my goodness. Music is gonna be a huge thing for you if it hasn't already, like if you haven't felt music speak to you differently lately, like it's about to switch up music you music is something that you will be able to feel even songs that you haven't heard in a long time you're gonna hear a verse a word or something and it's gonna hit i pulled a card yesterday that was similar to that um and it was listening for the truth so allowing yourself to to really tune in to the frequency of what feels right rather than what you're being told you should be doing or how you should be showing up or how you should blah, 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 blah. No, listen for truth. And that is like the energy that speaks to your soul. You are on such a, a, an incredibly magical, prosperous, plentiful, abundant path. And they're like, hey, like things are, things are getting um, how I'm hearing is scarier and bumpier in your head and in your spirit because you're getting closer to, you're getting closer to your goal, your target, whatever it is. And so, yeah, there's going to be a little bit more challenges. 
we're in a video game, babies. <laughs> like, be the active player and recognize, hey, you're on another level. So it's gonna be a little tougher. But hey, it's just another level. You've played this game before, you know it, you know yourself, you are not this inactive robot in the game. You are your own unique individual and you know what the fuck you're doing. You just need to remember that. And this is how you do that, by shaking yourself loose of all of this old shit, by refusing to take the blue pill or whatever the matrix pill was. <laughs> But anyways, that is what I'm seeing for you guys today on December 4th. Thank you guys for being here. Please let me know how that resonates for you in the comments below. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, all of my offerings are strictly on my website, jessieretroreadings.com. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!